Hi, I'm John with Orange ModWorks, and today we'll be looking at the Recon's potential for electronic modifications. In this video, I'll be showing you how to install a battery pack in the Nerf Recon and how to use that to power a laser sight. This battery pack can also be used to power a variety of other mods, like an LED light. But before we get started, let's take a look at the materials you will need. Let's start by looking at the tools required. You will need a flathead screwdriver, needle nose pliers, a wire cutter and stripper, soldering iron, rotary dremel with a flat metal cutter, and a high speed cutter. As far as materials go, you will need a cheap laser pointer from the dollar store, a pressure switch, AAA batteries, battery leads which can be acquired from an electronic store or another Nerf blaster, epoxy, wire, a brass tube, a brass or aluminum tube, uh, 9 30 seconds in diameter. All right. To get your battery leads, we're going to look at removing them from another source. We'll be removing these leads from the barricade. First, use your pliers to bend the three large tabs in the back on each lead. There are three of these tabs on either side, and you'll have to remove them in order to pull the leads out. Next, take a flathead screwdriver and flatten the tabs that are behind the leads. These tabs prevent uh, the leads from being yanked out and they grip the plastic, so make sure you bend them flat. Once you've done that, take your needle nose pliers and gently work the leads out of the blaster, trying not to bend them too much. Now that you've freed the leads, we're going to use epoxy to adhere them inside of your recon. But before that, take your Dremel with your flat metal cutting wheel and remove these tabs. Like that, so they don't get in the way. If you don't want to remove these from another blaster, you can pick them up at uh, an electronic store. When you're ready to install your leads, find the three plastic magazine guides located inside of your blaster directly in front of the magazine release. This is where we'll be placing the leads. Epoxy the leads on the left and right guides. Before you epoxy the leads in your blaster, take note of how they will be positioned. Your negative and positive leads are, on the, are not connected to the doubles right here because the current is going to flow like this, up and around and down and out. So make sure you take note of where the single leads are attached and don't have them touching the double leads. Leave a little bit of space between them. When you're done, it should look something like this. Once the epoxy dries, use the high-speed cutter to grind down the edges of the leads so they're flush with the magazine guides. Then to fit the batteries, use the high speed cutter to remove three semicircular segments from the middle magazine guide. This will hold your batteries in place. When you cut the holes for the batteries, start by marking the width of the holes you're going to cut and try to, this part is pretty tricky, so you gotta cut straight down and leave the top semicircular to grip the edges of the battery to retain it. So here we go. and do a quick test fit. As you can see, these notches are not wide enough, except this last one looks pretty good. All right. When you're done, you should have something that looks like this. When you're making those cuts, remember that less is more and take your time grinding out this material. Because it's a friction hold, you want them to be slightly tighter. If you accidentally overcut, you should have enough clearance to go ahead and stick a piece of double-sided tape down there to hold your batteries in place. Because you do not want your batteries falling out when you remove your magazine. And here's a close-up of the cut. It's slightly smaller than the battery to hold it in. 